So next I will uh, show you how to uh, get simplified expression uh, from the Carnot map. Basically uh, in this video I will uh, make it very simple, maybe a little bit too simple, uh, but uh, it will show all the basic ideas to you. And in the next videos uh, I will explain something that uh, might look not clear to you here. But basically what the Carnot map the idea of simplifying uh, Boolean expression is that uh, you can group uh, values on the map in groups and uh, in this way you can simplify uh, the resulting expression. M maybe it's not very explanatory but uh, let's see, we, we have uh, in the beginning we have uh, uh, we have uh, four ones and uh, four zeros, four cases for that result in one, and four cases that result in zero. And in the previous videos, uh, in pre in particularly in the previous one video, the last one, we get this expression, as you see here. And then we simplify that and get the resultant expression. And uh, the problem with that was that uh, uh, we First, we did it the wrong. Uh, we followed a wrong path, and we get some expression that was uh, simpler than the original one. But we couldn't. We can't know for sure when we simplify expressions manually if the result is a simplest uh, uh, possible uh, expression, Boolean expression, or is it just a wrong path we followed? And in uh, Carnot map we can definitely be able to find the simplest expression by the uh, by the technique that is called grouping. So, as I said before, every cell in this uh, Carnot map, which is two-dimensional truth map corresponds to uh, one case of variables. So, and we can see that uh, we have some similarities here. For example, these two are very close in the map, and these two also. And uh, without telling you any grouping techniques, I will show you the idea behind them. You see, uh, Right here, we have uh, one, we have in this uh, column we have uh, one zero. That means that for when b c equals one zero, that is b equals one and c equals zero, the result of the expression will be always one. Whatever a is, you see, if a equals zero and b c equals one zero. It's the same as when a equals 1. If b c equals uh, 1, 0, it still be 1. That means that a doesn't really matter for this particular case. And we can express this case uh, very simple. We know that to, uh, we can start creating our simplified expression. And we already know that uh, uh, we can create a small small expressions first and then incorporate, incorporate them together as we did here. We created these four small expressions in our previous video and then we just summed them up. Uh, and we actually do kind of the same trick here. We see that whenever bc is 1, 0, the result of the, uh, of the whole expression should be 1. That means that we can use this term b C negated, and for every time the BC equals one, it will equal one. So basically, the the, the idea when we created this uh, mean terms uh, for 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 truth tables, either we did it in uh, normal truth tables. For normal truth tables or for Carnot the idea behind that, if we, for example, have a certain case, 
let's have a case uh, we have a certain variables x, y, z and we have a certain case uh, when these variables equals let's say 0, 1, 0 and to create uh, an expression that will be equal 1 for this case is very simple we did that before many times we just write x, y, z and we negate those values that are 0 in this case and that's how we get uh, uh, that this expression will always be equal 1 because x negated will be 1 and y is already 1 and z negated is also 1 the result will be 1 and we did that before in uh, this truth table and the idea is that I, I wanted to show you how simple it is to get an expression that will equal to 1 for a certain combination of input values. So we just negate those uh, variables that correspond to zero. And that we will do actually a lot. And we did that a lot and we continue to do that. But I just wanted to uh, to more or less a bit more formal formally show that to you, not to show these steps every time. So and we already know that if uh, we, we created this uh, expression BC negated out of the fact that we know that for BC equals 1 0 uh, that means B equals 1 and C equals 0 uh, the resultant expression will always equal 1 and this will be true if we have BC negated in our resulting expression then let's do the same thing for this uh, group of uh, uh, truth table values. Uh, so here, here we see that uh, uh, for these two cells, A is always equal to 1 and B always equal to 0. You see here and here. B is always equal to 0. Uh, that means that we can write this down just a equals to 1 always and b equals always to 0 and c equals 1 or 0 and th that means that uh, we have uh, two, case t two cases but we can uh, sum them up because uh, uh, c doesn't matter for these two resulting values we just can avoid that because for any for any case when a b equals 1 0 for this or for this one it doesn't matter c doesn't matter because it could be either 0 or 1 and that means for this one uh, for this group we can write a, a small boolean expression that will equal to 1 uh, in case a b equals to 0 and this expression will be a b negated and so we <coughs> created uh, a small expression for uh, for this term, this expression, and expression for this term, this one. And so we covered all the cases uh, when our truth table equal to one. And now we just incorporate uh, these two expressions together, and we write x equals a. Oh, sorry. Of course, it it's, should be it should be a b negated because a is already one, so it w the expression will be one and zero. We invert zero and get one. That's how we do that, and so the resulting expression uh, will be a b negated plus b c negated and we got this expression using Carnot maps and as you see it's the same as we did right here maybe uh, it looks a bit more complicated for you but as you go further it will be easier and easier for understand 
And uh, the most powerful thing about Carnot maps is that when uh, uh, when the truth table grows enormously, it still uh, uh, it becomes easier to use a Carnot map instead of manually simplifying the expression. So next time I will uh, uh, more uh, more in detail uh, introduce how to group. Uh, parts of the kernel map uh, and we'll have some uh, more examples.